Our website project might not have the time or budget to spend on individually styling each of our elements on each of our pages, but we still want a professional, consistent, cohesive, and responsive design. That's where Bootstrap can help. Bootstrap is a popular CSS framework that helps us build stylish and responsive websites quickly. There are many advantages to using Bootstrap for styling our web pages. It has pre-built and easy-to-use styling classes that can be applied to our HTML elements. We can style menus, tables, forms, buttons, and so on. These classes provide a consistent style across our elements and pages and help ensure that our web designs are cohesive and visually appealing. We can override any classes for customizations as needed. Bootstrap provides a grid layout so we can arrange page content into neat rows and columns, and it supports more complex designs. Bootstrap is designed to be responsive. That means that it automatically adjusts the layout of our web pages. This provides a clean display on a variety of different devices, including desktops, laptops, tablets, and phones. Its popularity means that there is an active community for examples and support. All of these factors save us time. We don't have to build style sheets from scratch for every web page. Rather, we reuse the style sheets Bootstrap provides. Plus, it's free. Bottom line, Bootstrap is a powerful and versatile CSS framework that can help us create professional quality web designs quickly and easily. Bootstrap includes a CSS file called bootstrap.css. This file contains Bootstrap's ready-made styles. These styles are defined with selectors and style properties as we covered in the CSS course. Bootstrap also includes a minified CSS file, bootstrap.min.css. This file contains a minified copy of the Bootstrap styles. What does minified mean in this context? It means that all of the extra spaces, formatting, and comments are removed to make the file as small as possible. The smaller the file, the quicker it will download to the browser when a user accesses the web page. For interactive elements, such as the accordion, Bootstrap also includes JavaScript files, bootstrap.js, and bootstrap.min.js, the minified version. Notice that the minified version not only removes spaces and comments, but also changes all function and variable names to one letter. Since we haven't yet covered JavaScript in this series, we won't cover Bootstrap components that require JavaScript in this introductory course. Bootstrap has several types of styles. Bootstrap provides professional-looking default styles for many common elements. Adding a link to the Bootstrap style sheet automatically applies these styles. Notice the difference in the paragraph font, the link spacing, the headers, and the input elements. And we've lost the body margins. Most Bootstrap styles are defined with class selectors, such as form control here. We apply those style rules using the HTML class attribute. The Bootstrap styles are responsive, meaning they automatically resize appropriate to the device display size. Here is a wide display for a desktop or laptop. And here the layout automatically stacked vertically for display on a phone. Bootstrap provides styled components, such as an accordion and styled buttons. We can include the components on our web pages. Many of the Bootstrap components were created with CSS, so we can use them using CSS classes. Some components, however, support interactive features, like expanding the accordion items. That interactivity requires JavaScript, which we won't cover in this course. How would we find a list of these style classes and components? Let's check out the documentation. Open a browser window and navigate to getbootstrap.com. When this course was recorded, Bootstrap was on version 5.3, so that's the version we'll use for this course. Notice this dropdown. You can use it to pick a different version if you work on a project that uses an older 
or a potentially newer version of Bootstrap. And they are frequently changing the look of their website, so if you pick a version different from the one I'm using, the website may not look exactly like this when you watch this course. Close the drop-down and click on Docs to view the documentation. Scrolling the left pane, notice the long list of components. Let's click on Accordion. Notice here at the top that this component requires the Collapse JavaScript plugin, so you'd need to add the Bootstrap JavaScript file to use this component. Now let's click on Buttons. Scrolling down, we see the many different types of button components that Bootstrap provides. We apply these styles by adding the desired button style classes to our HTML button elements, as shown here. Notice the color names, primary, secondary, success, and so on. These color names are used throughout Bootstrap for text, border, background, and anywhere you can set a color. Come back to this documentation anytime you want more information about Bootstrap. For now, we'll close the browser. With that, let's find some HTML files we can style with Bootstrap. Don't forget to like and subscribe.